What's up guys? Uh, my name's TJ. This is my first installment in my little blogs I'm gonna start doing, I guess. Sorry for the video being laggy. I'm just recording this from my webcam, so it's kinda slow. Um, this first video uh, is about my testimony and how I came to Christ. And uh, just hope it inspires people, I guess. Um, I guess I uh, was always raised in a Christian home and uh, grew up knowing who God was, but uh, never really uh, thought about being Christian. Um, when I first got into the music scene, uh, I was in a band a long time ago called Black Altar, and uh, we were all about playing black metal or whatever, trying to be black metal. And, uh, back then I was friends with a guy, and, uh, me and him used to talk about, uh, being satanic and stuff, and, um, I used to read from the satanic bible all the time, and, uh, whenever we, whenever we turned 18, we had planned to actually move, uh, or visit Norway and become a part of the satanic church, and, um, that was how it all started out, just listening to like bands like Demo Boy Gear, Behemoth, uh, Emperor, Mayhem, Cradle of Filth, Children of Bodom, stuff like that. Going to the local Austin uh, death metal shows for like Abythos and, and uh, Images of Violence and Azoth and stuff like that. And um, really didn't know God at the time. Uh, so then after all that happened, I got kicked out of uh, the band and really wanted to try something new. I got into more like screamo music, I don't know, stuff people were into at the time. And I uh, became friends with a guy named Paul Davis who's in my band now. Uh, we became friends maybe in 2005 and me and him uh, tried to start a band. and. Uh, we ended up calling it Boston Tea Party Massacre, and uh, that was pretty much the start of me and his uh, musical career, trying to get out there and make some music. Um, but it wasn't really recent. It wasn't really until uh, I met Johnny, and we formed Alaris in April of 2008 that I really said I was Christian, but. Um, wasn't really like going through the motions of being a Christian it was just being in a Christian band um, so uh, we started Laris and it started out as a Christian band and um, then as time went on then I had started going through some stuff finding out stuff about my family um, that really pushed me away from being Christian and for a while many people probably remember me as being God free and um, just like bashing on God saying I wasn't a Christian anymore and stuff like that and uh, it was really bad but um, I went to a show in February to see for today and uh, my children my bride and uh, Whenever I was watching for today and uh, listening to him talk and stuff, and uh, at the time I was Godfrey and uh, it just didn't feel right to me um, at all. Uh, the whole concept of not having God in my life, and so uh, I, I uh, had the chance to meet Maddie from For Today, and me and him sat down and we talked, and he shed light on the subject and showed me how um, how I was acting selfishly and the way I approached things uh, but it was after that really that I proclaimed being a born again Christian and uh, just living for God in my life 
and uh, I guess that was February 16th. That's the date that I proclaimed myself as a born again Christian. Um, and as time went on, I got to know God more, and uh, in the band and Alaris, we uh, wrote some lyrics, some new lyrics before we, like, at the time we were a Christian band and we weren't, and then we were again, and we just all prayed for change, that we would all come to know God better, and uh, I guess just the, the way that I knew that I was saved was because I could look back on my life uh, and just say, you know, I wish, I, I just, I can't be like that ever again. And I know I can't be like that ever again. And just seeing how God worked in my life to just show me that my past was a test to bring me closer to Him. And that's really uh, what I give God all the glory for. And um, that's pretty much my testimony. Uh, it's nothing uh, compared to some people who went through drugs, uh, lustful feelings, uh, going to jail, whatever. I had none of that in my life, which I thank God every day for that I never really got into drugs or anything. I never got into drugs um, or drinking or anything like that. And uh, it's just a life-changing thing. So uh, anyway, I'll thank all you guys for watching this. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to agree with anything I say, but I just like to talk about God and uh, just kind of let people know who I am. Really, um, not, not really as just like a Christian who looks at people who aren't Christian uh, as just being helpless and like not my friend but rather as a friend to everyone uh, I know in my past I tried so hard to just fit in with everyone and um, now I just try to love everyone and uh, love people uh, while it is so hard God's been showing me how I need to live hate free and not not pass judgment on people um, because of the way they are but to love everyone like we, like we love ourselves, love our enemies, just show compassion towards everyone, and uh, yeah, but uh, thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned for video two whenever that comes out, thanks. And I'll tell you how.